Hello and welcome social media and hot TV fans. I hope you've been enjoying the band Stripped featurettes every week. In tonight's show, our special guests are a duo from Joburg called Up Your Sleeve. So please check it out. They're going to be playing three songs right here on Band Stripped. <music> Welcome to Band Stripped. How's it going? Oh, it sounds great. I'm, I'm still wearing my clothes, but... <laughs> Fantastic. Well, the music is stripped, not yeah. the physical band, just oh, for those okay. listening out there. Um, now, I read that you guys met while you were studying. Yes, yeah. yeah. Where did you study? We're still studying at uh, WITS. Okay. Both doing music or music-related degrees. Yeah. yeah. What, was, what was your first impressions of each other, starting with you, Mark? Well, to be quite honest, I'd, I'd been studying for a year and Alex came into um, the year I was studying and didn't really think anything of him. And then heard him play a couple times and was like, okay, started to get an idea. But I mean, to be quite honest, there wasn't a huge amount of like, oh, this is this is someone I can be, be like massive friends with or anything. Mm -hmm. There wasn't that kind of spark moment. But I mean, it took a lot of time of us just hanging out, like chilling. And then, yeah. And Alex, your side? I didn't like him at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's 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 an easy person to talk to, and I think I think that's what makes the dynamic of the band work well is that we get on well with each other, and we're actually good friends. Um, yeah. Um, we haven't we haven't come to blows yet, but Mark would kick my ass. Yeah, yeah. I'm allowed to say I that see that. <laughs> I see that. Um, was there a lot of eye contact yeah, in the beginning? <laughs> no, there's generally not a lot of eye contact. I look at I look at his neck a lot. Yeah. <laughs> At what point <laughs> after meeting did you guys decided, okay, you know what, we can write together, let's make some music together? Well, we actually started as a three-piece. Um, good friend of ours who's left the band, still a very big influence of ours. We kind of, I was playing a few gigs and it was Fees Must Fall and we didn't have anything to do, so we yeah. decided to start a band. So that's quite recent. Like Fees Must Fall was quite recent, so this is so fresh. 2016. 2016 yeah. is when we started. We basically, we had, I had mentioned it to Alex in the run-up to that part of the year, kind of been like, hey, like I, I know you play your own stuff. Like I should, we should come and jam and just like see what we could do. And um, then Alex booked a gig and said, "Okay, cool. I've booked this gig as a band, but I, if it doesn't work out, then I'll do it by myself. So come let's have a couple practices and let's have a go. Yeah, let's, let's take see a what stab. happens. Yeah. What was the chemistry like when you first started playing? Did you do a lot of covers to start, or did you go straight into originals? We went straight into originals. Um, we still like we don't play a lot of covers. Yeah, we've, um, got, we've got three in our set. It's just the way it worked because I was writing a lot of my own music at the time and then Mark Mark and I just clicked. He just got the right rhythms on the drums and, and it really sounded good. So it, it was it was, it was was a bit of a, a fluk, but it, it worked. And yeah, I mean, we had a lot of material, so it was basically just going, how can we put this into like a band context? Because I mean, we basically had a whole set from Alex's material. Um and so we just had to kind of decide how it was going to work for another guitar and drums. And what has been the best part of now being a duo and uh, and writing together? What is the, I mean, after you write and perform, et cetera, what's the feeling like? Depends how drunk I get. Um, <laughs> but You I don't look old enough to drink. Uh, I'm not. Um, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I am. I am. I swear. Um, it, 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 it depends. Like, well, we when in the beginning when we were playing two three gigs a week, we had an eight a.m. class the next day. The you like yeah, all pumped up, and then you go home and you're like you can't sleep, which which didn't work out well. I think we still get quite pumped up and we still get really nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but it's it's fun. I, I, we get on well together on stage and I we think, have a good time. We I think enjoy that's what the we big, do. I think that's the biggest point is that we like genuinely kind of on a personal level and also on a band level kind of want the same thing out of this thing. Um, it's more just, it started off as a passion project and it is kind of still a passion project. I mm -hmm. mean, we never kind of expected to be in this kind of situation on a radio having an interview. Um, and so I think we, we try not to take it too seriously, but also like put a, the right amount of effort into kind of making a good a good show for people yeah. and making good music. Okay, well, you're going to play some songs and you're going to talk about some songs. Your first track you've selected is a song called Red Sails. Yeah. What is the story behind the song? A lot of my songs that I've written, I do uh, have a lot to do with mental illness, which I, which I suffer from. And I, I, I believe awareness about this, the kind of thing is quite important. So Red Sales is actually about depression and, and overcoming that. 
But also, on the other hand, it's I, I was inspired by by a song by a band called Able Nation. I don't yeah. know if you know them. Mm-hmm. And they have the song about just just leaving stuff behind and 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 being free. And that's really what the song is about. It's about empowering yourself and and letting go. Fantastic. Well, there you have it. You've heard it from Alex and Mark, as opposed to Mark and Alex, which is another band from South Africa. This is Up Your Sleeve with a track called Red Sails, right here on Bandstripped. You hold it all together like nothing's ever wrong. How do you stay so strong? When the storm rages on For me I see Cause I'm lost in the ocean Away from the city Nobody here to stand beside me Red sails, red sails, red sails, red sails, my red sails, my red sails, red sails, red sails, red sails, red sails, my red sails won't fly. Oh, won't fly, my boat. Welcome back to the SA Music Box. This is the band strip feature, and that was Up Your Sleeve's first track called Red Sails. I really love the vibe on that track. Um, uh, nice guitar pattern, nice guitar chords on that. And I can tell you, you know, we were speaking before this interview started about what you might have sounded like. Mm. Um, I thought it had a very live vibe. Okay. The band live. Yeah. Uh, which brings me to my next question. Were the artists that have inspired you, each of you? Um, well, at the moment, I'm listening to quite a lot of the 21 Pilots, the new mm-hmm. album Trench. That's uh, quite often played in, on my phone. Um, other than that, like I was a big Led Zeppelin fan, still am. 
wow. and kind of grew up. My dad was playing me Jimi Hendrix uh-huh. and stuff. So, like, grew up Your on the, the, the classic good music, rock, yeah, yeah mm. kind of kind of vibe. Since then, I've gotten into kind of the more electronic side as well. Kind of just um, bands like uh, Blockhead and like that kind of hip hop vibe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and I mean drummers like John Bonham, Stuart Copeland. Yeah. Like even Ringo. Like Can't Ringo. go wrong with the police. Ringo is like the best song drummer on the planet. Yeah, yeah. So he made it work, didn't yeah. he? And Alex, your side? Uh, yeah, I grew up on Chuck Berry and a lot of Bob Marley. Bob Marley is like, for me, he's the greatest songwriter of all time. Mm-hmm. If you take the music out of the question, that that man could write a song that you could sing along to and feel and get the energy from. It just like transcended all the stuff. So from a lyrical point of view, I'd, I'd have to say Bob Marley, but uh, I, I, I love my Pink Floyd. I love I love Chuck, Chuck Berry and B.B. King are just like I blues. Mean, also, also you, you said earlier like uh, A. Will Nation. Awol Nation, yeah, I I, I, I love Awol Nation. Um, yeah, they, I, I like the way they've they've kind of brought the electronic vision into rock, like kind of like Nine Inch Nails did. Yeah. Now, now they're doing it in their new fresh style. Yeah. Which is which is really awesome. Well, you know, I mean, historically, bands like Sugar Drive. Do you remember the band Sugar Drive from South Africa? There was a track called Disco Lazarus in the nineties, mm-hmm. um, which was, I think, one of the first SA fusions of rock and electronic. You mentioned Chuck Berry earlier. Chuck Berry was largely influential on the Beatles, especially in their early yeah, career. They yeah. played a lot of Chuck Berry songs. Yeah. Songs and like Rock and Roll Music were yeah. originally performed by Chuck yeah. Berry. He's an absolute superstar. He, superstar. He, he's, he's the god of rock and roll. Yeah. He, he started it. He, fin- he finished it well. Um, he, he ran a really awesome race. And um, <laughs> <laughs> Just bringing uh, athletics references. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, he was, he was cool. Um, I, the best Chuck Berry moment, though, is I don't know if you've seen that clip with uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono and Chuck Berry. Mm-hmm. And Yoko Ono starts improvising some weird throat singing. Yeah. And Chuck Berry just stops in the middle of the stage and he's just like, oh, I'm so confused right now because I'm playing a 12 bar blues and you're ruining it. Yeah. It was, it was brilliant. That was Yoko Ono actually singing, yeah. by the way. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. a stock standard cat style. Yeah, just like a screeching cat. It was, it, was, it was quite fun. I mean, I think my own admission should probably now say the same thing. Um, there is a band called Young the Giant. I'm not sure if you know the band. Um, they're a US five-piece band. And um, they're an alternative rock band, much like yourselves. And are experimenting a lot in the electronic rock fusion as well. So check them out. Uh, no, we that'll will. be a nice reference for you. Which of the songs, if you had to pick a song that you really loved over the years, that's you thought, you know, that's a song I want to be able to write. A song that makes me feel like that. Roxanne by the police. police. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you, Alex? Yo, that's tough. Um, lyrically, something like maybe Redemption Song or Sun is Shining. So you like those bass riffs, eh? Yeah, I, I love my bass. My bass is my baby. Well, actually, same yeah. on the police, right? A strong yeah. bass riff, yeah. strong bass led songwriting. Ba- so, I mean, it's, it's quite in terms of like the, the arrangement and stuff that goes on, it's very drums and bass heavy. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's like direct influence on our yeah. playing at least. So, yeah, well, police, police is, is huge. Yeah. Um, I don't think my dad's oh, and left. 20, and 21 Pilots is a yeah, two piece. Also two drums, yeah, also, yeah. drums so and bass. As well. Yeah, so it's. it's the simplification, but still making it sound melodic. Like one thing I've noticed a lot with small two-piece bands is very—it's just—it's just noise. It's—it's it's very loud, and you want to make something that's like easy to listen to, not yeah, not yeah. just like um, white stripes in it and like it works because it's loud and it's awesome because it's loud. But uh, yeah, but I mean also like with at our live gigs, the the songs with bass and drums. Are always like the the big crowd pleasers. Yeah, the people like grooves. Yeah. yeah, and I think the modern world of music, pop music, yeah. is really about grooves, and whether it's R and B, whether it's hip hop, whether it's rock. Mm. Um, if you find the groove, then you will find an audience. Yeah, and when there's no groove, the audiences find it hard to connect. Yeah, I think absolutely. It's just the modern listener. Yeah, your next song is called El Dorado. I'm assuming you boys are old enough to under- to know the story and the legend behind El Dorado. The city of gold. That's it. Yeah. Well, that's 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 what the song's about, actually. Yeah. Uh, it's about, about it's about Joburg, the city of and gold. Joburg, yeah. city of gold. Oh, okay, yeah. that's a nice, nice, nice metaphorical reference. Yeah. So tell us what what does the song entail? What's the what's the lyrical content like? Here? It's 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 slightly meaningless. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm, a great I'm not even I'm not even gonna lie. That's it's, a great start. <laughs> it's, it's 
it's a bit here and there. It's a bit, I don't know what's going on. It, it's like it's like being in traffic in Bromfontein. That's that's what the song lyrics are like. Oh, I thought you meant like Vidkop and Road up here, which is chaotic. So uh, that's the same. I mean, the, exactly. like choose a road, man. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere this in is Germany. Africa. It's like anywhere. Yeah. Fantastic. But, well, we're looking forward to that. I'm sure the audience is just as curious as I am. This is Up Your Sleeve with El Dorado right here on Bandstripped on Hot 91.9. Dust fills my lungs In the city of gold I feel so numb Because you sold You sold To the streets Of the city My home Back to band stripped that was El Dorado by Up Your Sleeve guys very strong I would say alternative rock sound now I can only imagine what the full arrangements would look like how, how many more instruments go into these songs one yes. literally a drum kit it's just drums pretty much when we play live yeah yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah when, 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 when we sit down to record the stuff it, it often takes on like more parts that we can't really play live right right yeah so there's only two of us, so we only have so many hands. So if I could, I'd play Four guitar. Between, yeah. 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 So no, I get it. I, if, if Mark was a better guitarist, then maybe we'd have a... <laughs> yeah, I played, no. I, I played guitar for a while. There was a song no, that he, we played. He actually, um, yeah, for quite a while we had a song called... That I played bass and we had another guitarist and 
Mark played guitar and it was actually, it actually, we should actually revive that one. I think it was called Change, Change the Weather. Fix the Weather. Fix, Fix the, weather. the Weather. Yeah. yeah. I wrote it. I don't even know. How what many it's songs have you guys written so far? Originals? 10, 12. I don't know. Lots. Yeah. And uh -huh. there's a lot that, that we don't play because they're crap. Which, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Not, they're bad. They're yeah. bad. You can't, you can't, um, you can't really play a bad song at a gig and then like expect everybody. Yeah, you've got to write. You've got to write out your bad yeah. songs. You've got to yeah. get out yeah. your yeah. system. There have been a couple that we've played where the, you can just see immediately the crowd response is not there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and not that they've been like particularly bad songs. It just might not be like the right kind of song for yeah. that environment or whatever. The get the kind of gigs that we're playing just to keep the audience on a high. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. If you're playing a 45 minute set, you the, the audience actually just wants to be rocking for 45 that's minutes. It. Yeah. You can't really hit a bat. No, you can't hit a bunch of ballads in the middle. No, Alex, that's quite interesting because your first single is called Low. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's a re it's a really groovy <laughs> track. That that, that 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 is a properly groovy track. That's like that's probably the grooviest. That was the first song. Well, not the first song, but one of the first songs we actually got together and wrote together as a band. Yeah. As a band and it really came out so groovy. And um, that, yeah, that like the whole arrangement, including the, the, the lyrics and stuff were basically just a result of us kind of getting down and then like sitting on the drums with the bass line or um, uh, Anna, the other member at the time, um, she would play something on the guitar and would feed like that. It wasn't really, Alex write the lyrics, this is yeah. how I want it to sound. It was so a nice of, fluent yeah. Yeah. and fluid process yeah. Yeah. that happened. Which is how some of the best songs are written, right? Yeah. It's just a very natural, organic mm -hmm. thing that happens. Where do you guys see, um, or where would you hope to hear your music one day? Well, I mean, already, like at this point, like having radio stations play the song is kind of a surreal thing um, for me anyway. Uh, especially because it wasn't like, it wasn't the end goal when we started the band to kind of be famous or like be playing festivals or anything. Those yeah. have kind of come as we've, as we played more and more gigs and kind of realized that we're not that far away from those things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think like, I think for me, the first milestone was like getting a single that we'd recorded and properly edited. Um, Which you have now. Yeah. yeah. The goal, the goal with the band is like Mark said earlier, it's, a, it's about having fun. It's, it's actually more of an escape than anything else from studying music composition. We just yeah. like, it shoved down your throat all the time. We want to play some rock music. We want to, we want to, we want to yeah. have, we want to have simplicity and we want to have fun as to, we, we want to separate it from like, a music career kind of no but that's not to yeah. say that like if it if it for whatever reason took off then we'd be like adverse to no to we taking we, that on it's, it's what yes. we love doing it's mm. absolutely our passion well listen i mean i get a strong sense of the chemistry between the two of you and i'd say that chemistry is a very important part of making any creative art whether it's music whether it's film or tv for that matter and mm. i you know i can see you guys going from from strength to strength um especially if you keep writing your originals and you you seem to have a firm and clear idea in terms of conceptually where you want to shape your band and your sound, mm -hmm. which is not many young bands have that clear idea. You know, it forms as you go along and I'm sure it will evolve. Yeah. The last track you've chosen for Band Stripped is a song called Sun In My Eyes. Yeah, that one, that one's... That, that one, one is about a girl on that, the beach. That oh, one's, that so one's about a, a girl. A girl, yeah. a girl, a girl on the beach. Now. It's not the other player in the band, no. 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 Oh, just because no. I... <laughs> yeah, it's clear. yeah. It's, no, it's, it's it's my girlfriend. But oh, uh, I see. Yeah, it's go it's, on, Alex. Yeah. what's this one about? It's it's about a pretty girl on the beach, and now she's your girlfriend. No, no, she was my girlfriend on the beach, and she's still my girlfriend. Hopefully, oh, if, I unless see. maybe maybe she hears this and she'll get embarrassed and say. So just out of interest, what is her name? Lee. Oh, very fantastic, fantastic. Well, Lee, I'm I'm sure you're sitting at home somewhere and listening to Alex right now. This is Up Your Sleeve with the romantic influenced Sun in My Eyes. The sun is in my eyes. The sun is in my eyes. It's no. A surprise that the sun is in my eyes today So take your sandals on And feel the sand between your toes It's just for kicks, it's just for fun Oh, the sun is 
sun was in my eyes and the sun was in her eyes there's no surprise that the sun is in my eyes today so don't time here in the studio that was that was fantastic that was sun in my eyes alex and mark uh, you guys have been wonderful guests and i absolutely love your energy as a band and as a duo at the moment and i can see that it will come through in your music and i hope to hear lots more of you guys in the future now for our audience out there please tell us where can we find you we are very bad no actually we're great we are the social media kings of not posting anything on social media. Right. What is that's your... Um, no, that's not true. What is your Instagram, Instagram and Facebook handles? Instagram at upyoursleeve, ZA. That's where you can find us. Uh-huh. All our stuff is always on Instagram, all our gigs. That's the most all our, all our upcoming singles, all the news, all the views, all the cool stuff. Um, and also we're on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Amazon, Music. Apple Music. YouTube music, all the all the music. Basically, wherever you get your your streams from. Yeah, That's you can right. find us there, and of you can music. find us mm. right here on Hot. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you for being our guests on um, on Hot ninety one nine on the band strip feature, and we wish you guys all the best yeah, in your thanks future. Thanks for having us. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. And that was great fun with Up Your Sleeve, a wonderful duo, and three incredible songs for us. Um, they're also great fun in studio behind the scenes. They're very funny. If you ever get to see them live, make sure you ask them about their camel joke. It's a very dirty joke. Uh, but catch up the band strip feature on Facebook and our YouTube pages. Please check out their links and follow them on social media. Thank you very much. <laughs>